Hello, and welcome to Viking Views. I'm Alicia Winston. Camp MVC was the main focus for M Missouri Valley's college this past week. Viking Views ran reports on how Missouri Valley College celebrates its homecoming week. Activities ruled the school this week as homecoming week kicked off on Monday. Alumni were invited back to the school to relive their college glory days and watch the younger generation play on the same field that they did years ago. Throughout the week, students showed school spirit by participating in activities like singing the school fight song, voting for homecoming king and queen, and mingling at the bonfire. MVC welcomed the alumni into the Malcolm Center for a banquet and drinks. Students had the option of joining the banquet and taking pictures in the photo booth provided by the school. Ed Leslie's 5K Torch Run Walk saw several athletes cross the finish line. The bonfire and a performance from the Islanders Club wrapped up the festivities for Friday. The parade kicked off the celebration Saturday on the square. The tailgate zone opened shortly after the parade. A live band gave tailgaters something to jam along to as they grilled their favorite football snacks. Tim Wyatt says Valley worked hard to make this year's homecoming theme unforgettable. Oh, it's been great. The uh, whole week there's been so many activities and events and the team has been good. As you can see around here, it's just been an amazing time and NBC's really done a great job. The football team took on Avila University while the men's and women's soccer teams played Baker University. Randy Beck, Viking Views. The MVC football team beat Avila 48 to 30, while both the men's and women's soccer team beat Baker one to nothing. Missouri Valley College heated things for homecoming week with a bonfire on Friday. Athletic team organization, current students, and alumni showed up to the event to show their school spirit. The drum line provided music for the crowd and the cheer team and a Polynesian group put on a special performance to get the crowd fired up. The event is put on by Student Affairs every year to get students pumped for the homecoming game on Saturday. Students, faculty, and members of the community fill Marshall streets Saturday morning. Viking Views' Guillermo Amasquito reports on people gathering to partake in the 2015 homecoming parade. The 2015 Missouri Valley College Homecoming Parade was held on Saturday and teams, organizations, and clubs marched through the streets of Marshall. Yeah, I love the Valley Parade. I love homecoming. It's a great tradition. It's a reason to get up early on a Saturday morning. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a fun time to bring the school and the town together. For some, it was their first time to witness this annual event. Um, I'm so excited to see the parade because uh, this is my first time to see the parade. So I can't wait to see the flow. Some of the participants in the parade were being judged on float design and creativity. We had about 40 participants in the parade today. Uh, it was an awesome turnout, good crowd in the sidewalks, everyone cheering them on. And my favorite was um, who we have. We had TPA and ASP. Their float was very creative. And um, look, hopefully they win the contest. Guillermo Mosquito, Viking Views. The winner for the homecoming float competition was Theta Phi Alpha and Alpha Sigma Phi. As students and alumni walk around campus during this week's homecoming festivities, there were many pictures taken. Viking Views' Felix Alvarado reports on the many photos opportunity MVC offers throughout the week. Missouri Valley College provided a lot of activities for the students during homecoming week. On Tuesday and Friday, the activities were focused on photos. Tuesday, Thor the mascot walked around campus taking pictures of anyone that wanted one. Some people were excited about posting these pictures on social media. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that picture with the Viking. We'll probably get that on IG coming up this week. Uh, hashtag Viking for life. On Friday in the Malcolm Center, there was a photo booth where alumni and students could put on props and take silly photos. Students and alumni that took pictures this weekend can use their hashtag MVCVikings on their social media accounts to share their memories. Missouri Valley students were invited to play soccer, and soccer ball wasn't the only thing they were kicking around. After a long week of studying because of midterms, students enjoy a night of fun. We're participating in student activity games, battle ball soccer. 
students seem to enjoy more of the bubbles than the actual battle ball soccer game. A lot of students, all they really like to do is run and run and hit other people instead of actually watching the ball. Um, it is a stress reliever, especially after midterms. We had at least 100 plus students who actually participated, and then we also had watchers as well. The double battle, I, I really enjoyed it. It was fun. It was really tiring and sweaty, but it was like overall fun because you can't really feel you getting hit and just bouncing everywhere. Midterms, they stress me. So this was like just a breather for all the tests, all the studying, people coming to my room and having fun with the guys. I do it every day. This was probably my funnest day of the week so far. The battle ball soccer game wasn't much of a success, but an entertaining night of battle ball fight was. The next student activity game is Ultimate Frisbee. It will be played in the Malcolm Center. Alumni were invited back for multiple reasons during this year's homecoming. Viking Views' Courtney Cameron reports on the women's volleyball alumni game. Last weekend, and the alumni were invited back not only to celebrate, but to get involved with their fellow teammates. The volleyball team had their annual volleyball game, which the Viking volleyball players played the alum. Of course, this was actually my first homecoming in a really long time to go to, so uh, it, just nostalgic, you know, bittersweet. You miss it, but you know, you, sure. grow, you grow and you learn and you come back and things don't change. The Vikings took the alumni in one. Tanksley, a former Viking, was excited to be back on the court with all the women. Playing, I don't know, you know how much they're going to do this, but I'd be up for it. But I plan on trying to come yearly if I can. Courtney so. okay. Campbell, Viking Views. The women's volleyball team hopes to continue to have an alumni game in the upcoming years. The MVC Jazz Win Ensemble had their annual fall concert. Viking Views' Ashley Lorenz reports on how the ensemble played the crowds and tunes. Missouri Valley College's Jazz and Wind Ensembles played early American folk songs and hymn tunes in their annual fall concert October 20th. The concert was held in the Eccleston Maybe Theater, and the jazz band was joined by vocalist Terrence Mickens. I thought the concert went well. I challenged myself by singing two very challenging pieces. I just enjoyed the entire the entire atmosphere and filled the concert. The audience seemed to l love it. There was great energy in the room. Mickens isn't the only one who thinks the audience enjoyed the concert. The audience enjoyed the concert. I could tell by how they're clapping. Some audiences, they're like, uh, and then they a little bit of clap, but then this was a lot of clap, so. They hope that they can continue to get an engaged crowd for future concerts. Ashley Lorenz, Viking Views. The MVC Win Ensemble performs next in the annual holiday music show, November 19th through the 21st. That's Viking Views for this week. I'm Alicia Winston. Thanks for watching.